Hello and welcome to the shop. This is the state of things. I was forwarded a mag switch customer service question recently from a customer who wanted to put this vise on one of our new magnetic drill press vise mounts. And the problem was that this vise just has nothing at all to mount to. No holes, no slots on the side, nothing to make it easy. Uh, so what I said was, you know what? Buy the base, ship the vise to me, I'll make something for you, and that'll be my mag switch Black Friday sale video. So, this is what I'm making. The reason that I'm showing it to you now is because I've been accused recently of always making videos that are impossible to understand and people need to skip to the end to see what's going on. So, I'm changing it up a little bit and showing you the finished product, and I'm even going to take this apart here because I have to take it apart anyway to give to the customer. Oh, but I didn't shoot the thumbnail. Ah, I have to put it all back together. Oh well, not stopping now. So, as you can see, this side takes advantage of these two recessed holes for the fasteners. I think that. I'm not exactly sure what they attach to on the vise. Probably hold part of the jaw on. Anyway, it gives me a little ledge to grip onto on that side of the vise. So that's what I did. Now let's actually build it. I didn't have my camera rolling for the weld, but here's how it came out. The Mag Square 165s were perfect to hold the rods in place because they have a V in the bottom that keeps them square. This would have been a tricky thing to do without the magnets. Uh, so that's a pretty good lead in to the Mag Switch Black Friday sale. It's going on now. Mag Switch has a ton of inventory at the current moment, and we're also moving warehouses. These are the new digs. So that means we're much better off making a lot of sales right now to reduce the inventory that needs to get shipped to the new warehouse. And all of that has resulted in a Black Friday sale that's probably deeper discounts than anything we'll do in the future. I mean, never say never, but it'll be a long time before anything like this comes around again. My discount code, Andrew Klein, still gets you 10% off, and the prices of woodworking and welding products are marked down between 15 and 35 percent. 
The products that I'm cycling through now are the ones most deeply discounted so that after you apply my discount code, the full discount is either a little more or a little less than 40% depending on the product. But they're all within a couple percent of, of a 40% discount. So if you've ever thought about picking any of these up, now would definitely be the time. Link in description if you want to check them out and look through the prices and see all the markdowns. I wanted the four hold down points that secure the vise to be actually pressing down on the vise when the bolts are tightened. So to make this happen, I used some utility knife blades as shims and then clamped everything in place with the rods that secure the vise touching the vise. So now I just need to weld it all up in that position and there will be a slight gap where the shims were, which means that the metal will be under strain when the nuts are fully, fully tightened down. This presses down onto the vise so that it doesn't shift around. That would be the end of it, but unfortunately this customer that sent me the vise wasn't familiar with how badly UPS treats packages these days, didn't quite protect the vise well enough, and the handle got bent, and this is how it came to me. Uh, so I offered to make a new one because it's kind of a bummer to do all this work and mount the vise and then send it back damaged. All right, all done. Speaking now to the customer that will receive it in a couple days, first thing you need to do is set the back mount in place, slip the vise in underneath it, and then fit the front mount in place and then tighten down the nuts. Pretty simple. And a little bonus at the end of this video, I wanted a place to hang my drill press fence when I didn't need it. This is one of the deeply discounted products on the current sale, by the way. Uh, so I put a hanger on the underside of the table.
Oh, oh, oh.